<laughs> My voice may be easy on ears, even though uh, I, I feel weird lately, like uh, I'm constantly sick, so my voice sounds also like I'm just wait woke up. But this game's music is something, I'm sorry if it's gonna bring more headache. Oh, but too much caffeine, hey, be careful with that. Good night. Did you make a lot of progress? David, why is it glitching like this? It, it wasn't that bad last time. Stop touching yourself, sir. We haven't even started. Ah, they're gorgeous. Oh, damn. Wanna be in pictures? Haven't chosen my co-star yet. Talking about gorgeous, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, as a matter of fact, I am looking for... Oh, no, he's drunk again. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, Beefcake. Oh. I'm addressing this lovely young lady here. Um, me? <laughs> well, listen, it comes down to this. We're looking to make some good money fast. <laughs> He's not even Can listening. Use both of us? His woman answer to that, okay? At the same time, in fact, you send abuse. You folks look pretty hard up. That comes in handy around here. But you also got to be versatile. That's the name of the game here, sugar. String you along. Uh, the main game, I assume, is also pretty damn long, isn't it? From what I've seen, I've seen not so much. It looked like a open world MMO game. And what is without that being entail? MMO? Exactly. Tails, hooves, horns, you name it. I love it. Wait a minute. I thought this was just straight smut. Oh, relax, darling. They're just like us, except they don't go hide in what they're all about. They are lost, sugar. The real thing. Drooling, snarling, cloven, hopped up flesh out. Hey, Rach, do we really know what we're getting into here? Maybe I should restart the game, but let us finish this conversation first. Oh, it's not that bad. Asimodius pays great money. But on the other hand, none of these fiends has ever even seen bath water. Hey, ma'am! Then there's the pot belly, the moat, and the bed. I haven't... Come on, sugar. Old drunk characters to Take a walk with me on the dock. How are you doing? Uh, I'll be safe and see if I can do some. I really doubt I can. No. Okay. Okay. Wait. Yes. Stream is over. <laughs> no, give me a sec. Also, I forgot to mention it in the title of the stream. I deleted it. What an idiot. Um, notifications, as usual, don't work. So, sorry about that if you redeem anything. Let's give it another try. Question marks? <laughs> hmm. It's not helping. Hello there. I'm Ruderkin. No, what's your name? Ruder King Kind? He seems to be into feet, I guess. 
I like his voice. We're doing what? That's exactly where we left off last time now. <laughs> Rachel, and this is Gideon. Hello, Mistress Rachel. Master Gideon. Yes. May I serve you? Exactly that. No thanks. We can't talk. We're here to do a little business. See? We're here for business. I'm in the business. Ten years, yet my days were never happier than these last three in which I've had the pleasure of serving Mistress Gorinda. Gorinda? How nice for you. Oh, I've had an illustrious career. Would you like to hear the highlights? Uh... Sure? Who wouldn't? I started at the very bottom. It was nothing like the level of prestige I've achieved now. I started just fetching towels for the lead in Noroman Servant. Now I'm strictly in the service of Mistress Corinda, but I'm sure that something could be arranged now that you're with us. I'll check on it. Well, that's really not what... No, no, I'll ask, and I'll put in a good word for you. Don't be nervous. I'm sure you'll be just fine. That's it? But they don't want to talk. Okay. I guess a smart years. Let's go, let's go make some some business. Come crawling back, have you? They all come back to Asmo. Um, I'm willing to give you one more chance. You gonna take it this time? Keep your hands in front of me, sir. <laughs> Journey to hell? Yes, of course. Fabulous! Let's get on to the set and see how you emote. That's an acting term. Oh, I thought it was for Twitch, but... Choppy. Um, is it only the sound? Because sound is choppy for me. And I tried to fix it. It's not working. You know what? Something can fix it. I guess. I wish I didn't have to do it. But... Okay, let's see if that's gonna work. I, yeah, I think it worked. I mean, the game will be choppy here and there, but should be better than it was right now. Oh, what the fuck is this place? Set. Set. How do you call it? <laughs> Children's play playground? What? Alright, alright. Don't touch anything on the set, and don't let any of this spook you. These people are all professional actors, huh? Oh my god. Who are is he talking about us? Because we're not very professional yet. <laughs> hey, take it easy, baby. It's all effects. Trust me. They don't feel a thing. It's like falling off a log. Uh, let me just go talk to this one actor over here. <laughs> He's hamming it up, doesn't want to do his part the way it's written. You know, some performers you just gotta stroke all the time. Pamper, stroke, pamper, stroke. That's all I do around here. <laughs> Be right back, baby. You got the device? Where should we put it? <laughs> I don't know. Is that his director's chair? Let's put it under there. Hurry, he's coming back. Hey! You're looking beautiful, baby! Hey! Beefcake! I told you, don't touch nothing on the set! <laughs> now, let me set the scene for you. It being this is your first part, I'm gonna give you something easy. I just want you to show me some pain. Got it? Well, 
work our way up to agony and misery later. For now, just give me pain, okay? Play around with it, see what you come up with. Then, get a little drunk and you land in jail. Gaffer, get a grip. You gotta look for the union label. All's well that ends well. Swell, swell, lights, camera, interaction. Well, if Chicago Bulls mascot's name Asmodeus, it is him. What's going on? He's talking to us like we're not here. It's like he's shorting out or something. Did you place the device? Which device? Ah, the one to, br to fry someone's brain? No, he came back too quick, but... Oh, wait a second. Did I miss the action? Considering how you can get stuck in this game... No, the walkthrough doesn't mention anything. We just needed to talk to him. Uh oh. Huh? Hey, where are we? <sighs> Looks like nowhere. Maybe it's purgatory. Error? Did we get a glitch? Go to Dante, all will be explained. Dante is... wait, is it... this guy is dead? What happened? Isn't Dante the very first guy we met in the game? I think he's like our friend or something. I think. Oh, what is this? Psycho Pomp. Hmm. Okay. Who's this one? Man, where the hell are we? Well, I found you two in here hooked up to these bloody machines. Asmodeus watching over you. I saw him hook you up through the window and I didn't like the look of things. I got a good shot off and down he went. Fell over like a bull elephant hit with a trank shot. Wait, what? Yeah, he was acting weird in hell. He just started jerking and stuttering. Now it makes sense. Look at him, he's an android. Android? But is hell full of androids? What? Was an android. Whatever he was, you sure took him out, Sterling. Man, I hope I never get on your wrong side. What kind of a gun are you using, a bazooka? You only get one shot with a demon. Better make it a good one. But what did you do to disrupt his system? And how come that made the whole place go kaflooey? Got some weird what? news for What's you, mate. I don't think you were in hell. I mean, I mean, I found you unconscious hooked up to these little gizmos here. Wait, are you saying it was a... virtual reality? They were making porn in VR? What? The future is Hooked here. Hooked up to these decks? Impossible. <laughs> Wait a minute, Gid. This is beginning to make sense. The android, the whole place shaken up. The message just appearing in mid-air like that. Blimey. You mean hell was virtual? Now, wow. Hey, it's too incredible. What's more believable, hell to actually exist or it being a virtual place? I don't even know. You said yourself Asmodeus was already short-circuiting when you got here. Somebody I'm, I'm, got I'm, into the system and planted I a mean, bug so it would crash. Would that same hell person hell sent us that Earth, message. So. You know, I think you might be onto something, Rach. Unbelievable. All these years. Hell. Virtual. What a scam! But what do you mean years? I thought we we've only seen how like very recently. <laughs> but who else knew? Who sent us that message? I think we better get to Dante's and find out. Maybe some AI be 
Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. We'll find out. That bloody government. Look, oh no, so it's not a hell, out. it's just I've all virtual reality. Place. Now this changes everything. It is a cyberpunk thriller after all. We better take one of these decks with us. Dante can help us figure this whole thing out, and whoever this mystery person is. Yeah, well, watch your backs, mates. You That's now know dream. what may be the most dangerous information well, you could possibly like. know. You do too. But at least, now we know who our real enemies are. The Hand. The Hand it is. I'm gonna have to get myself a bigger gun. Go carefully, mates. Oh, maybe he's polishing his gun. <laughs> just leave him here. He looked so cool, though, and he's just an android. Mm. Disappointed! Okay, we're going to Dante, I guess. Oh, wait. Huh? Excuse me? But it says just Dante's apartment. Where exactly is that? Is it also in, on Union Station? God, why is it so hard to find? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. What if he's Android too? Oh, who's that? Is that an Android? What's going on here? What'd you say? Oh, huh. Time to eat. Oh, good. Uh, just some old uh, guy. refried beans and pan-fried quails went right to my toes. Huh? Dante, we've had a break. No kidding. I'm networking with a deep throat who claims he's hacking from within the Pentagon. He says he's been in contact with you. What's the story? Deep throat? Something big could change everything <laughs> we know about hell. To use. <laughs> it locked up. We were in a hell pit run by a demon called Asmodeus. The whole thing, everything except for us, locked up. And this deep throat contacted us in flaming letters. Well, we know that he's not a demon after all, so... What? A lock up? Get quality assurance on the line. Bug free, they said it was. Locked up? What's that? Because it's extraordinary. An unprecedented violation of physical laws. What did Deep Throat tell you? We must contact him. He said the psycho pumps are really wireless decking units. That you can access hell at will. He left an address. Garage? What does that mean? What is this? Decks? Addresses? Huh? I wouldn't know anything about dicks. I'm just an old man with sore joints and bad eyesight. I've got some guesses, but only Deep Throat can tell us what really happened. Oh, shit. Wait, I, I thought it I was just a, some oh, nickname man. they made up for that person that contacted them. Is it, like, his official nickname? That's very weird. What are you thinking, Gid? I'm thinking that hell may not be real at all, that it's an enormous, complex virtual reality, that all these years of terror and suffering were founded on a lie. So, what, are we getting uploaded to virtual reality after we die and we are sent to this virtual hell? Well, that's my past, damn it. Can't an old man be left that's to die That's an interesting in look on things. Oh, man. They didn't. Don't tell me. They outlawed the stuff and kept it all to themselves. They could be even more powerful than we thought. More vulnerable, too. Damn, they made fools of us, Rachel. Reality containment's a colossal joke if Deep Throat tells us what I think he will. Hmm. Once we find where he is. Uh... Next stop. Wait.
Oh wait. So, oh, we need to use an item on us first. What the hell? Psycho pump. Use on Dante. <laughs> on us. And enter an address called garage. Do does it? We're in the future. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. Unfinished level. Are you a deep throat? How deep is your throat? <laughs> you came. I was counting on you being <laughs> desperate enough came. to chance it. Oh, we're here, all right. When a hell pit locks up like a fracker shanty, we get real curious. Speaking of jury-rigged environments, what's the story with this place? Forgive the incomplete nature of the area. It betrays my haste in fashioning it. I devoted most of my efforts to cloaking this well from hand detection. Doesn't matter. We're obviously not here to talk about the place, no matter how weird it is. I've been following your activities as best I can by monitoring the ARC online chatter. I only meant to contact you. Causing Asmodeus's hell pit to lock up was an unexpected side effect. I know that you've been framed, but I don't know why. I also know that you've taken up with the Citizens' Freedom Front. Yeah, we know what we've been doing. What about hell? It is the greatest lie in human history, Rachel. Your boyfriend's got it right. It's all computer generated. You see, from the beginning, the Hand knew that fear was its greatest weapon. They spent billions of dollars tapping into centuries of fear and superstition, humankind's tribal horrors and primal fears. The military and the CIA had already stockpiled immense research on the subject, and trans-global CEOs and ambitious secular politicians willingly backed the hand. They were confident they could share in the hand's rule of the country. But once the gates of hell opened, Solux swept all non-believers from power. Those were the first nights of the scrub teams. The wing saw The first nights of many. So hell is a computer program. No one is damned then? Yay! Oh no no! Oh no! People are damned. They're hurt. The burning is in the mind. But that makes it no less real. Oh no no no. The only thing not virtual here is the pain and the death. The death. Hey, the death hey to my boy. Hi. How are you doing? Nice stop, catter. Whatever. Um. <laughs> the burning is in the mind. The problem is, is if actual if the hell doesn't exist, then the suffering is only for the poor and weak people. Well. The bad ones are having all the good stuff. This changes everything. There's so much we have to ask you. Not now. I'll contact I'm you again. Doing okay. I will be your deep throat. Oh. Keep in touch with Dante. I'll contact you when deep I need to speak throat. with you. <sighs> so weird. I wonder if help warrant yeah i think we're actually shutting down i've been the panning for gold on the nets but nothing's turned up on you two yet keep trying we appreciate it how's drexler he's an interesting old coot but i gotta eyeball him long hours because he keeps rigging my hardware <laughs> why i can't damn a man to tartars for trying to stay current we take jacks in the warrens fetch a high price I've been making do for years, with insufficient amperes and sluggish clock speeds. I'd pay a fortune for a multi-spectival polyrobust graphic system. Hey, I'm hip to all that. But let me know the next time you plan on tapping the heating unit's power supply to run an arc welder. The coating on the wires melted into the floor. Okay. Lanfan Plaza. Where's that?
There it is. And collector's room. I remember this place. I accidentally came here when we were not supposed to. Um, use electromagnet to get blaze parchment from the corner of the room. Oh, that one? The crackling old parchment of this ancient text is rolled around a metallic spool. Actually, I really like this um, narrator voice. Wait, what is this? Tan? Con? It didn't play. It didn't what? What didn't play? Wait, what will happen if I do just try to get it? We get caught, get killed. Oh, nothing happens. That's boring. Uh, oh, electromagnet. Right there. Use on parchment. Weird that you can't, like, straight up use it. You do need to... whatever. We Mag... What's this parchment made of? Wait, 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 wait. No, quit! I... I wanted to check the item. But okay, I guess we'll, we're going to next place. Capital South. That's North. Damn it! Gnostic's office. Go to hell. Oh, yeah! I'm sorry, July boy. I'm not at home, so notifications don't work. Actually, give me a sec. I'll write it down on... Oh, damn it. Give me a sec. It will take a little bit of time. Mind load page. Anything happen? No, not really. We got some parchment. What's in there? Can I even check it? Blaze parchment. What's a blaze? I don't think I can... Ah, wait. Examine? Why? Ah. The crackling old parchment of this ancient text is rolled around a metallic spool. Maybe that's why I could use a magnet to get it. <laughs> why are we here? Talk to Professor Coronary. Are you one the one? Ah, the glazed <laughs> parchment. Well Sorry. done, well done. I assure you that when we have finished with it, we will see it placed somewhere where it will be appreciated. What's for dinner, ma'am? Hey, live it up, Prof. And don't forget your side of the bargain. I stand by my word. I feel like you I'm see eating 99% of the time when I'm here with parents. <laughs> it feels good, though. <laughs> We're hoping you can translate this Latin phrase for us. We've written it down for you. Put the socks on. Why? Ah, <laughs> because... No, I, I don't know. I'm... 
my nose is uh, cloggy, I always have to use the drops here. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of allergy. I don't know. Of course. Let me see. Uh, vocabulum est aquare. Not cold yet. Ominous venere abgenitor. Well, Gen the Latin is uh. poor, but it roughly translates something like the word is get and all comes from the father. Aquaria means to get, you know, a verb meaning to acquire. Mm -hmm. The word get. Not much of a clue. You're the brainy puzzle solver in this relationship. Getting any ideas? Not yet, but I will. What? This guy is smarter than, than Rachel? We're hoping you can translate this Latin phrase for us. We've written it down for you. Of course. Let me see it. Vocabulum est tabulum. This guy reminds me of Giles from Buffy. <laughs> the Latin is poor, but it reads, the word is slate. And all comes from the father. The key word here seems to be tabula, which translates to slate. Slayer. <laughs> Hot sandwich. Mmm. I mean, that's also good. Veggies, cheese. Mmm, nice. Fried cheese is one of the best things. Normally, yeah, sometimes like I the older I get the more I'm feeling it I I never had these problems before when the I was younger. slate Not much of a clue Still, it's a clue my brainy bow. It's something to go on. I didn't say it was nothing just that it wasn't much What's this conversation about? It's just Extending an already long conversations in this game. We're hoping you can translate this Latin phrase for us. We've written it down for you. Of course. Let me see it. Vocabulum est grale, ominous venere abgenitor. The Latin is poor, but it reads, the word is grale, and all comes from the father. The key word here seems to be grale, which translates to stilts. A rather mm -hmm. unlikely message. The word stilts. Not much of a clue. Are you gonna say it about every word? Really? Gee, it seems obvious to me. Mm-hmm. The answer will be obvious when we're done with it. The two of us have been repeatedly sharing the same nightmares. And after every one of them, we wake up Screaming and with the same Latin sentence on our lips. Vocabulum est cirrus. Ominous venere ob genitor. Can you translate that for us? Of course. Quite easy. <laughs> the Latin is poor, but it translates to the word. Don't is let your brain melt all yet. comes from the father. The key word here seems to be late. Does this mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Not yet, at least. But it could be the start of something. Uh -huh. That was helpful. Wait, did so we gave him the parchment, right? That's where we got all the yeah, all the text. Never mind. Um, head right to the next room. Talk to Daniel. Daniel, wait. What's this one? This is not a next room. This is the same room. But what if I talk to this person? I hope you're learning the truth about your former masters. I guess? I'm actually, I don't know. Am I? Learning anything? In the pouring out. It's one of the dreams. What the hell? Move! What's that? What is that? Looks like an item. The only reason I'm letting you search this desk is because Professor Coronary allows it. Don't think I'm forgiving you for what happened to Dee. Someday your kind will pay for what they did. Um... Who? What's that I just got? 
list of readings. Examine. Of keys. Send ten tier chapters, hand of God. What is that? Wait, I can't talk to this one. How long are you gonna sort through her effects? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Get some kind of sick thrill running through one of your victim's stuff. I swear, you'll all pay for this. <laughs> They're taking their turns, eh? Huh? My cats are both asleep after being out for a while. They are really enjoying it out here. Of course, so much space for the nature. Obviously, it's the, it's a better place for them than uh, a city. Take the list from... Uh -huh. Examined in your inventory, return to talk to Professor Coronary again. I will call you Canary. <laughs> yes, I speak Latin and several other languages fluently. <laughs> Damn it. No, July. We're hoping you can translate this Latin phrase for us. We've written it down for you. Of course. Let me see it. The Latin is poor. Wait, but it's, it's the, the same. But enough? Oh, no. Oh, it's the same conversation. So Can I... Wait it. Maybe what? Do I need to give him this one? <laughs> I can't give this thing away. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, this conversation... I don't know. I was supposed to talk to him again, and apparently he was supposed to come up with hmm. a new word. But the conversation was completely the same. I'm confused. So, after all of this, we're left with a big goose egg. Each of the murder victims, and Rach and I, had a preoccupation with basically the same Latin sentence, the only difference is being individual words that are next to meaningless and don't seem to fit together. You're saying we've flatlined, run a dead end? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, hope is not lost. I've been giving this matter with a Latin word some thought, and I may have the answer. These words uh -oh. mean something to you, Coronary? Something about the presentation suggests a code I'm familiar with. Keep in mind, a large part of a Gnostic's work is deciphering obscure texts and breaking ice systems. Now follow me on this. The first part of the statement introduces a word. That's plain enough. But what about the second? Why the mention of all things coming from the father? What things? Whose father? Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to know. Considering... Poor thing. Who cares? Words don't have fathers. What do you mean? Aren't... Man, fathers of words, in a way... But sometimes they just might. They just might. As I said, I'm familiar with this manner of encryption. Each of the words I translated for you can all be made from a single seminal word, with the letters from the derivative words occurring in the same order as they appeared in the seminal word. For example, the words yeah. fort, mist, rune, so this game is just basically just talking. Can all be found moving from left to right in the word misfortune. In our case, the words get, gate, slate, stilts, and late can all be found only in one word. And that unlikely word is gesticulate. Are you sure about that? Gesticulate? What are we supposed that... to do with that? Yeah, actually. You can be certain that if the hand bothered to devise the encryption, it has some great use. What that might be is for you to discover. I believe I've upheld my part of our bargain. 
I'm not paying you though. Okay, gesticulate is the word we were supposed to get from him. Okay, now, new place. Next place, I mean. Dupont Circle. Each time I go to this damn map, it's like first time. British Embassy, this is our next stop. Oh. You're jamming, huh? <laughs> Who's this guy? It's one of the devs, I bet. There was a bar with another guy's picture, too. Do you remember? Go through the right door into residence HQ computer room. Oh, we're not talking to anyone in here? Go through right door. Well, that's more like center. Senator Aaron Burr. Who's a senator? Are you a s no, that's no oh, god damn it. Whatever it is, ask the senator. She runs the show. I just work here. Yeah, I'll talk to you later though. Yeah, the game sometimes is choppy because my well, my parents wrong? notebook can't Something bad handle happened, those hasn't box. It? The assassination attempt on Solux? The attempt on Solux has failed. The homing device apparently was discovered and reprogrammed. Well, damn. The missile meant for Solux struck a tenement building. Wait, the homing device was Fortunately, replanted? most of the residents were on the street watching Solux pass by. So we no one actually was tried to kill Thank Solux? Thank God. I... I knew it was a mistake okay. to attempt such extreme measures. Question is how they found the homing transmitter. We spent over a year devising ways to cloak its signal, spent a small fortune on stealth materials for the casing. People risked their lives to obtain paint samples from Solix's car. Xenon was a fool to use these two to do his dirty work. Well, <laughs> considering how hard they prepared and then like for the actual stuff, they ha actually hired some random people. Yeah, that's... that's pretty dumb. Watch who you're accusing, Katarina. Your plan was dicey from the start. I don't care how mondo your homing device was, you think the hand techs aren't three steps ahead of you? Judas Priest, it's the Imperator's parade car. You think Actually, they don't scan almost no. every molecule of that thing? Some bars have pretty cool music. There is no time for this! There is no time for recriminations! As you see, Gideon and Rachel, some of my staff do not trust you. Yeah, we noticed that with Literati. He's got a big problem with us. Oh, wow. Guys, give me a sec. There is a huge... ball flying right across my window. With people on it! Gonna film it. Can you hear? Hu huge. Uh, how do you call it? N a balloon? The people are sitting in in the casket and attached to balloon. They just flew over the. They were so low, crazy. I didn't even. Wow, there's another one flying. Give me a sec. Uh, film it. I'm gonna send it on Discord, check it out. Hey, Globaloid! Ritual, which ritual? Hey, Raspi!
task it. Check it out. It's on Discord. I just sent it. It's crazy. Okay. Sorry. You may have not heard me well because I was using the phone, the same phone I'm using as a mic. Oh. I'm back. Marcus Vanders and Claudette Simeon of the attack squad were his closest friends. He hasn't been the same since their death. When they disappeared, something inside him disappeared as well. We've discovered Solix's secret. We've discovered the secrets of hell. <laughs> a huge bowl with people on it. I didn't know how to explain. I don't know how you call these things. Were they way- Yeah, they actually were waving, but I was too busy filming it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, they were probably waving to also people outside of the house. So. <laughs> Hell secrets. I've no time for idle boasts. Tell me what you know. Air balloon. That's how you call it. <laughs> Yeah, there there's some place nearby that they are like, start like I guess you can go there and you know take a ride and sometimes they fly over here and very close by to the buildings. Aliens. I probably would die though if I tried because they can go very high and uh, after last uh, what. What was it? We, uh, not winter. Autumn? When I went on the... Um... How do you call it? The attraction that I was. It was very high and I, I was so afraid. I No, I probably will never try to be on the balloon. The Imperator doesn't have the keys to hell. But Solix does have a team of ace hackers, and hardware at least three generations ahead of anything you've ever seen. Hell isn't real. They're computer generating the whole thing. Computer generating? But... but how? The Hand has ruled like Luddites, outlawing most cutting-edge tech. But that hasn't stopped the government itself from moving ahead full bore. They've been developing cyberspace and decking technologies to a sophisticated degree. When they damn people, they don't physically send them anywhere. The victim's hey, nervous system is linked to a computer to network that's generating right an there. enormously complex virtual environment. I don't know, it's scary. And that's hell. My god! You're certain Did of you this? see? Did you check the videos on... The video and pictures on Discord, guys? It's... Awesome. <laughs> We've got a deep throat inside the Pentagon. He's a programmer uh, who spends his days backing up data uh, generated yeah. by the yeah, Hell we'll program. Go yeah. They've got everyone's nightmares I on thought tape, when he said a deep and he's throat, spilling he everything he knows. Everything he said so far is consistent with our experiences in the underworld. All right, all right. This changes everything. Can you get to this person? This Deep Throat? We must speak with him. We must have him here with Katarina working on some way to destroy Hell. If it's a computer program we can crash, we can devise a bug or virus and reduce the gates of Hell to virtual ruins. Or Correct, just Katarina? find its core and destroy... I don't know. Well, I get... I don't know. Maybe. I mean, in theory, any program, any data can be corrupted. Okay. It's a matter of understanding their code, and it'll depend on hardware. Yeah. I'll need information, mm -hmm. lots of it. You heard her, Gideon, Rachel. Bring me this deep throat. We must have him on our team. No, in the meantime, didn't. we must. The front has a number Wait, of important what? allies. But the subtitles Former were done. government officials who have resigned their posts rather than serve under the hand. How and deep activists is the third? with a hand deemed too subversive to remain free. All of them will be crucial to forming a government that can take charge when Solux is defeated. The Imperator, of course, knows this, 
and has apprehended them, consigning all of them to hell. I we have never seen a way to rescue tonight, them until now. Considering can you access hell at will? Probably not. We think so. We have access to a psychopomp, which as it turns out is a disguised decking unit. But I thought it's just for contacting Deep Throat. Because once I used it, we contacted him. We want Deep Throat right now. <laughs> as soon as possible. Good. You two must undertake to rescue our people being tortured in hell. If I understand this correctly, they are most likely linked to a computer somewhere in the Pentagon. We have spies inside. Hopefully, one of them will be able to free their bodies while you free their minds. Katarina will brief you on the identities of the prisoners. While you work to free them, we will devise a means of destroying hell. Change it. Ding, ding, ding. I'll make it less loud. Let me know if it still needs fixing, okay? Uh, you, I guess. Rachel, what? All right, so I have to mission impossible you two on some of the front star power who've taken a ride on Charon's jet ski. Get ready. The list reads like a who's who of establishment figures gone disgrunt. Any theories on how we're going to find these people? We've got a psycho pump, but what next? We just can't make blind decks. Deep throat. And sea space jocks would find us in minutes. How about now? We're a little lucky there. The hand's given us a head start. You know how they run it. Hell isn't scary if the folks at home don't know something about it. Hands buzzed us the sweaty locales of some of the prisoners. Well, of course, since the hell is actually If the virtual. psychos are anything like the acting decks, then they've got some cutting How are you gonna intentionality you engines. The psycho should be able to scan for the hell areas you're aware of and offer them as an option for travel. Better, thank you. Let's see if I have this right. We just used the psychopomp in this room. Ask it to take us to Charon, and we can go to any hell location we're familiar with. And to leave a hell pit, I assume we just return to Charon. Who? Uh -huh. That's the theory. Remember, the psychopomps are for the bad guys who run hell. It's supposed to be easy for them to get around. Listen now. Here are the people you have to rescue from hell. There are 12 of them in total. We know that Eddie Commerce is being held by a demon named Mokalis in some manner of Hell Zoo. Well, virtual nukes, aren't there like glitches and viruses? So that's basically our plan, I think. Isn't Commerce the underground comic, <laughs> the really subversive guy? That's right. The hand kept censoring his act. Finally, he got fed up and went full-blown disgrunt. That's one. Who else? Front's top EE -E guy, a shaman with circuitry, a Texan named Dingo Tucker, is being held in one of Beelzebub's pits that apparently is teeming with rats. Former Secretary of State Sheshu is having his gums eternally torn open by a what dentist an demon named name. Malbolge. Prudence Alela, Senator Burr's chief of staff, Are you is getting the saying we need to get treatment. all these? Multi-billionaire Conklin Danforth is encased oh my in a block God. of ice beside a tributary that leads to Hell's Frozen Sea. Former Secretary of Defense Trenton is on the rack in one of Mephisto's pits. That's all I got on these guys, but it's a good start. That's a good start. Anything else? There's one other thing. Townsend Ellers is the chief tactical planner for the CFF. We can't attack the Pentagon without his expertise. Apparently, he's being tortured by Satan personally. That can't be good, even if Satan is just a computer image. Don't know how to access him yet, but you'll be duking it out with Satan before this is over. One of our people inside the Pentagon reported that they've located where she our tortured so victims' bodies are being held while they're in the hell net. Great. They can just disconnect the psychopomps and save us a lot of sweat. Life ain't that easy, You know Rachel. him? Release of the bodies is apparently blocked until their minds are freed from their torture in hell. Once that happens, our agents in the Pentagon assure us they can move the prisoners out. What? Uh... This is 
crazy. I would never guess. To... What we need to do is go to... Ah! So you can use uh, Psycho Palm to go to different places. Damn it. How do you use it? Use it? Why is there two Katerina Gwertz's? Anyway, because you enter an address, and next address is Charon. What the fuck? <laughs> How did this happen? Same as before. Next time I'll just skip it. <laughs> I was screaming. Who's that guy? Anyway, you see him at the end of every travel. Oh. What is going on? A bit more immune. Yeah, probably. I mean, isn't... well... It is a different track right now. It's hard to judge. Is this his usual route. name? The guy who rides you through sticks? Because I don't remember. The river, or they will pull back a charred stump. And beware of the spray, as it will dapple your complexion with searing lesions. And Sorry, it was me. Outriding holes. As there is limited seating, passengers are further advised to cling to each other for dear life. We hope that you regret traveling with us today, and that you suffer mercilessly during your stay, Aww. and that you come again. Please, state your destination. Oh, I will definitely come again. <laughs> huh? Belial's Lairs. Oh, so this is like another map? Like, we have a... What, what was it? What city we were in? A New York? And this is a hell map? Kind of? Okay, where do we go? Get a list of destinations. After visiting each location in hell, just use the sticks map to return to Charon. To choose another destination. Huh? Sticks map? Anyway. Beautiful's hostage help it. Is that where we're going? Sorry about the sound. Credits. Oh my god. That looks familiar actually. Haven't we been here? Still cover and beer mug. Why would we need the mu- whatever, I'm not questioning. Still cover, where is it? A large vat containing highly potent acids. Noxious poisonous fumes rise from the vat. We're supposed to use the beer mag mug on this. We're gonna get the acid. Apparently, we. Uh, yeah. Inventory. Oh, wait. <sighs> Apparently, you get the steel lead together with the beer mug. Never mind. I was trying to find it on the, ma on the map. 
Uh -huh. Yum! Who wants some... Acid? Like a pleasant place to be. <laughs> Not bad, I guess. This large stein of beer seems a bit frothier than usual. What with the acid that's been added to it. Nerve gas cartridge? When did I get that? Wait! My whole party is not with me anymore. And what's with my inventory? I have... A gun. I have... Laser gun. Hellfire bazooka. Hellblade. Well, I guess my inventory stuff... Is different. Uh, in the hell is different to what I have in real life. Right, I'm an actual idiot. It is, um, how do you call it? A virtual reality, so we can't have our actual stuff. Okay, whatever. Makes sense. Before walkthroughs, they, they paid attention. <laughs> uh, next place, the Hell Zoo. For some reason, I really don't want to go there. Take that. What? Are... That looks like cats. <laughs> I I think I did take take some f flying cats. Uh, keys, jar of food. Where is food? Are you a food? Hopefully you are. Basket of sticks water. Nah, that's probably a food. Hell's answer to pit bulls. A little smaller, maybe, but who's looking at their body? It's hard to see past their teeth. A wiry, bearded man kneels with his arms tied to a large railroad tie behind his back. Rendered immobile, he still me. seems to pace with restless energy. An intellect that can't quit racing. The proverbial motor mouth. Was it? I wasn't that bad last time we played it, I think. That's just annoying. Uh, talk to Eddie Commerce and Maculus. Who are you? Are you the one? Go away. Be busy. Torture you later. Not me? Oh no, we insist. Torture us now. What? Rachel? This one could be tricky, Rach. I'll say. We could laser this guy in the forehead and he probably wouldn't notice. Hey, it's great to be back in hell again. Although it's a little quiet out there, this could be the sound of that one hand clapping you hear so much about. Solix, baby, you out there? I can't see the audience because of the stage lights. But no audience ever stuck me before. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh. It's going to you're wrong, you pinhead. You know how comedians are always saying, you're killing me, you're killing me? What the hell you think they're talking about? I tell you not to worry, that this is all virtual, but you'd probably keep talking anyway. Why is it beautiful women always have the IQ of a fence post? I could use a break here, you what? Man. I'm running low on material fit for the thinking well. impaired. Ow! Oh! Oh! 
Oh, of course. Ah, oh, I'm saving all the good stuff for so <laughs> What is going oh. on there? Oh, I know you're coming, you asexual <laughs> asshole. I figure you're late. Hey, friend. You can't decide what to wear. But seriously, folks, what a leader, huh? No chance of corruption or scandal with Celine Solex. No chance they're ever gonna catch old Celine doing to his or her secretary what he she's been doing to the country for years. I'm actually putting on the socks. It's getting cold. I so wanted to meet a sunrise here. It's getting bright like at 3 hours already. 3 a.m. I mean, so it's doable. But it's been so cold at night. Like, as soon as it's getting, like, an evening... It's getting very cold. I can't even stand outside. It's so sad. It's beautiful outside. The bad box sucks. Ah! Ah! What is he doing to him? I want to know. <laughs> what is this dialogue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind taking down the steroid case with the cattle prod, but I say we leave the twerp tied up. Let's take care of the keeper and let Funny Boy figure the rest out for himself. Go away, I'm really busy. I'm confused. We're supposed to talk to two creatures here. It says. Talk to Eddie Commerce and Macalus. Oh, maybe this guy is Maculus, so we're like basically talked to both of them? I don't know. This big guy didn't say anything, really. Are you waiting Keep for your waiting. waitress to serve you? Because I think she's on break. What do I have to spell it out for you? Okay. H-E-L-P, you dig? No. Use the jar of food of Maculus, then use the zoo. Okay. Just a food? We're not gonna poison it or anything? This bucket isn't on fire. It can touch his that's exactly what I thought sticks. he was doing actually. That looks like cats. Don't tell me you don't see it. Small hand-sized beasts that don't have wings yet somehow seem to levitate and fly. That's uh, balloon cats. <laughs> anyway, food. Hmm. They won't take it. Huh? Hmm. They ah, maybe this one. Wait, no. The walkthrough says give it to Maculus. Rachel, what? But! Huh? And nothing happened. Are you waiting for your waitress to serve you? What a bitch. Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Mm hmm. How do I use it? How do I use it? Hmm. Also, we used the jar of food and apparently the jar is still there, but it's empty. But the walkthrough didn't say to pick it up. Thank you. What a, the walkthrough actually lied to me. Well, it took you long enough. You know, my father never mentioned the Actually, I'm an idiot. It says to use it on animal cage. Whatever. <laughs> of course, old daddy -o should know. I'm giving up. Been horizontal for 10 years now. He's gone? Is that a butt hole? <laughs> Witness the birth of an alien. <laughs> what? Was he pooped out or something? I don't know. 
Okay. Next place. Ah! I get it! Now we have to find all the people that... Remember that woman told us about a lot of people. I assume we need to find them now and free them all from hell. No obstruct. I wish I was. Uh, the wall of flame help it. It's the next stop. Welcome to... Uh, ooh. My. Find the people. <laughs> people! Like, I actually was, uh, for some reason thinking of that game. What's, what's the game called again? Uh, I forgot. I saw- I low-key want to replay the first game before I actually play the second one. Never played the second one. Talk to Prudence Alala. Alala. Hang on, Prudence. Senator Burr sent us here to rescue you. When the, actually, a little bit yesterday, we had some wine with parents. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... My nose is killing me. Blood, yeah, blood. Overblood, actually. It's called Overblood! Yeah, I played through first game, but a long time ago. When I wasn't even streaming yet. I'm, or doing a YouTube thing. Rescue me? What do you have in mind? Just gonna stroll across that moat of flame? My bonds are easily undone. It's getting across that moat that's the problem. The heat's unbearable! Don't know how much longer I can stand it! Oh, for a second I thought she didn't want to be Fred. F free it, Fred? Hold on. We'll do what we can. <sighs> Hurry! The pain is terrible! I bet Gideon would like to hold on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she means this this heat. Between the wall of flame itself and the skulls tossed casually about, this hell pit seems more of a charnel than any of the other hell pits. It's as if all of the demons have tossed their scraps here and forgotten them. Forgotten the victims suspended behind the flame, too. This music is growing on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, still cover over the steam hole. This, oh, it's a hole. I wouldn't even tell. This little cover will work? Oh, we got the empty jar, apparently. Okay. And... Sorry, that scared me. <laughs> Do I need to stand on it? But it's better. Oh! I'm not gonna get off. My oh. God, you did it! And you fire it magically disables. Okay, I should save. It's been a while. You're safe now. Any moment, and you'll feel yourself fading away. I think you'll be surprised when you reach the other end. Yeah, it's all a virtual reality. Anything's got to be better than this. I can't believe I'm saved. That I'll live to see Senator Burr again. And that I'll live to fight Solux one more time. Don't get captured. Again. Is it this? I think it's the same animation, so. Oh, I guess I'll take it just in case. Okay, two two people saved. Let's go. Hmm. 
the Hell Ice Field. World of Rachel Gideon's progress reaches the Imperator. Imperator. Ah, word. I thought it. No, never mind. Well, isn't this lovely? What I forgot to save, didn't I? Consider themselves. Two people rescued by our gallant arch renegades. In and out of hell unsinged, and no sign of the Imperator. How special they must feel. <laughs> it's a trap, you dumb little shit. Come into my web. <laughs> I'm running out of space to say. <laughs> Welcome to Char. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how I feel. Okay. There is a hell music room. I wonder how good the music is in there. Danforth is encased in a block of ice. We've got to free him. Use the floating beasts on yourself and head over next to the ice block. How are you so what? This is the less logical thing to try to use. To do, I mean, whatever. Wee! Danforth is in uh what? Um, what? Uh, wait, was there a trap or something? I don't understand. What do they want? Head over next to the ice block. Use your bucket of sticks water on to free him. Wait, why is she landing? I don't think I'm supposed to land. Use on myself? And then what? Use the sticks water? Well, it looks like it's molten lava or something, so maybe that will work. Use it on Gideon. I know he's a cheater. You cannot use the on sticks while floating, but the walkthrough says... What was the point? I could literally walk there. What's the point of flying then? Oh my god, Rachel. Thank okay. you. So, so, so cold. He, he Loki looks like Harry Mason from Silent Hill 1, from this perspective at least. Okay. I don't know. Hi! Ah, oh, that's it? <laughs> the conversation's getting shorter and shorter. I don't know why... Oh. Oh, that's why I needed to float. My lord, I have news of Brock and Ashanti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, With my it's own the same. Eyes. At last, then the we don't need complete. to listen because it's the same conversation. Your efforts have failed. Death is your only reward. Well, 
Why it sounds like he says, Ew. <laughs> Ew. Good thing I saved. Welcome to. Ch but I need to redo this. Bye bye, get in. I'm leaving you with this guy. With Harry Mason. <laughs> Wanna be. Ah, wait. I need to stop flying. Stop flying. Stop, stop it. Rachel, stop it. How do I stop flying? She did it before. Danforth. Now. I can't reach that from here. Hmm. Well, if only you walked a little bit closer. <sighs> Bye bye. Okay. Sticks. Next place is the music room. Very isn't what Welcome to Oh no, there's a dentist's office. Must be the worst place ever. Uh, I'm not... Okay. Oh no, it's a puzzle. Obviously. Hold on, Ms. Trenton. We're here to rescue you. Are you in pain? This whole rescue mission is straight up figuring out how to save them. Hell yes, I'm in pain. My whole body feels like it's on fire. Okay, we're gonna rescue her. Any suggestions, big guy? I don't know. I thought it was your turn to have an inspiration. The glowing stones embedded in the floor emit tones when they're stepped on. Only way to free me from my bonds is to put pressure on the stones in the correct order. Herodias keeps telling me to shut up, that silence is golden, and silence is my only chance of getting out of here alive. Then he starts playing the harp, singing some verse. Uh, murder the dumb, torture the meek, with the scent of death and the gnashing of teeth. Something about silence and that verse must be the key to my rescue. I haven't figured it out. It's, it must be the, 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 the thing, the, the buttons that don't make any sound. Just like in Silent Hill 1 puzzle. What order is that? Don't you think I'd be telling you if I knew it? Just hold on. Wow, she has a pretty interesting mood while talking to possible saviors. You know, I don't think anyone else will be coming here to save you besides us, so... If I do it wrong, will she be fired or something? Uh, hmm. I can't do anything about this one. And weird. How are you supposed to guess it? Anyway, I'm reading. Alice Trenton tells you the key to free her is silence and the following verse. Murder the dumb, torture the meek, with the scent of death and the gnashing teeth. Right click on... Right click, not left, on the white panels to see what letters they represent. 
Are you serious? A tile marked with a C note. <laughs> then click on the white panels for the silent letters in the verse B E C A G. What? What? How, how do you guess? Wait. No, I, I have no idea. A tile. Which doesn't say anything about that one. A tile marked with a B note. A tile marked with a G note. A tile marked with an E note. E? We need that. C was a this one. A tile marked with a C note. Nah, I, 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 I'm, I'm giving up. I'm just using the walkthrough. <laughs> a tile marked with an A note. A tile marked with an F note. A tile marked with a G note. Ooh, it's beautiful. Damn! I wish the whole game had this music. Took you long enough. Yeah. Now then, <laughs> I assume you can get me out of here. Did anything change though? That's easily done. You should feel it happening any second now. Yeah, bye bye. I wonder how it feels to fly out of the <laughs> butthole. How many did we save? Four? How many do we need to save? Dentist office is the next one. Welcome to chat. Oh, this guy had the worst. The worst. Jesus, the sound. Oh my god, no. I fixed one of my teeth a couple of weeks ago, but oh my god, I need I, 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 I'm having issues with quite a lot of them now and I need to go to that office very soon. I'm not feeling excited both because of this and because how how hard it hits my wallet. You like your dad. That's bad. Good. No insurance. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to bypass the anesthesia and keep that for the doctor. Stuff is so sweet. I have to look at the three. What? What's his issue? Mm, say ah. <laughs> I can't get it! That's pretty cool. Use your nerve gas cartridge on the large dentist dentist tank on the left. Gas. Nerve gas. Are you sure? Okay. Wait. I don't like You can't believe how painful. I kept telling him I just had my teeth. I'm not sure that's how it was supposed to be, but drilling. 
kind of work. We're with the front. You're not really in hell. We haven't got time to explain. In a few seconds, you're going to wake up in a room inside the Pentagon. The front has a woman inside who will get you out. Get ready now. Bye-bye. I'm supposed to get an NO NO two cartridge, but I didn't get it, and that's the issue. Ah, okay. Guess I got it. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. What's that? The walkthrough doesn't say anything about the bucket, I think. I don't think it. Next stop is the rec room. Welcome to I don't, Yeah, I didn't watch the movie either. It's a movie, it's not a show. Oh, wait. Are they just running in the tubes? Can you get in the trap, I wonder? I should save. Hmm. These traps don't work. Batting. You're right. Hell no, I'm not all right. Rats are my worst nightmare. I can practically feel them crawling all over me. I hear them scratching and chirping. I feel their weight against me when they throw themselves against the tubes. And they're hungry. They're gonna get me. They're gonna eat my skin. Just hold on. We'll get you out of there. The rats aren't real. This whole thing, all of it, hell, it's just a computer construct. You crazy girl, can't you feel the heat? Look at the teeth of those buggers. They can flay the tissue off a bone in under a minute's time. Just hold on another second and I'll smash the tubes. No, don't do that, you fool. These rats are wild. They'll chew us up if they get out. You gotta find some other way to free me and hurry. I, I mean, so what kind mind. of torture is that? I thought... Uh, they're just running in the tubes. They, he doesn't even see them. He only hears them, but they're not actually near him. Poor rats, rather. This guy is Dingo Tucker, by the way. Killing poor rats. Red cage. There's a cage. It's a cage. Wait. Cage? There. That should work. No, I thought I needed to use it on the tube. Ah, uh, you killed him, compadres. You can't know how this feels. You can just this rot here. You can see right in peace. They're not real, Dingo. We were trying to tell you, but you were too <laughs> frightened to hear it. All of Hell is a virtual reality construct that the government uses to create fear. You'll need to get to know him better to find out. Well, they do a damn fine job of it, let me tell you. And how do you mean virtual? Ain't a deck or a system I know of that can generate anything near this complex. Frontex will explain it to you. Your body's currently jacked into a machine at the Pentagon. Burr's got a woman there who will see you out safely. Hold on! She'll pull you out any moment. I'm surprised she didn't do it mid-conversation. It's like, 
Yeah, I'll wait for them to finish talking. Safe. Next stop is... Wait, how are we going out? It says foggy bottom. How do we go back to the city then? Welcome to Ch Hostage help it? We've been there. Yeah, this is like the first room we've been in. How do I... What's this best to go to entrance to interface? To Foggy Bottom and I'm pretty sure that it's in the city. We've been there. Welcome to Char But I don't know how to get there. I'm very confused. I remember being here very early in the game. Well, not very early, but it was first stream. I like this room, it looks pretty cool. go back. I can't go back. <laughs> ah! Okay. From this screen you can use... Yeah, my... We're done? We're done. Saving, guys. You should resist coming here unless you have something important to report about the attack oh, squad, me? Solux, or Hell. Just visiting the embassy is reason enough for the hand to pick you up. Okay. Jesus. Entrance to inter interface. Huh. We're here. I recognize this place. Head down to Mr. Beautiful's office. Down? Here? Oh, that's my jam. Wait, that's... I'm confused. Where's his office supposed to be? Rachel is confused. Ah, this is the office. Uh-oh. We're not supposed to be here? Tell us where our people are being held, or you'll get what happened to your boss here. I think there'll be more blood when we shoot you, mm. eh? My boss? Who's my boss? And what happened to him? What the hell's going on? What's with Beautiful? <laughs> he- Hell. He's an android? Uh, obviously, if another demon we saw was an android, aren't they all? Look at that wall. Looks crazy. Was an android. Now, he's a pile of scrap. He's been scamming us for years and thinking he was untouchable because he was. Well, a unless he demon has his mind uploaded somewhere. Crystal Getty. And he's more than that. that. Was the failure. The demonstration of weakness we needed to plug a hole in him. <laughs> now we <laughs> find out he's a machine. Just one more scam. His last scam. Hey man, you think I'm mad enough to put my hide at risk? Do you I'm recognize the man? Hey, beautiful. There are dozens of you, wise guy, psychopathic hard ons looking to make a rep by plugging someone with position and the freaking stones to back it up. I thought he was dead. I look dead to you, hotcakes? Been close and I'll chew your ears off. He's been talking like that since we blasted him. Shut up! Or I swear to God I'll blow your head to pieces. 
You're bluffing like a fire hall card shark, you simple spick bastard. You wouldn't finish the job, because you're hoping I'll tell you what's on that deck. That's it. I'm going to blast him back to hell. That's enough, Manny. Don't oh. do that yet. He's right. We might need him to get Delmonico and Carlos back. You almost blew it once when you shot him up like this. So he was an android. That explains a lot. I, I guess all the other demons on Earth are synthetic as well. She's smart, a pearl. Also, that's Dennis Cooper. Co Cooper? Hopper! Hopper! Rachel, get in, kill these <laughs> I'm two. sorry. Drill holes in them, plug them, plant them, I want them dead. We'll bury them in Arlington, just like the Dagos, and dump their bodies right next to where the friggin' Kennedys used to be. I can't believe they're all machines. For some reason, I find it easier to believe they were real demons. I've seen him a couple times, and the second one, he dies. Not so beautiful now, are you, Pazuzu? Screw you. You were only too happy to suck up when I was on top. One little setback, and then you find out who your real friends are. But I knew it would come to this. You work hard to get a little piece of something. You gotta keep kicking everybody else's dirty paws mm. off it. I think I smell sausages. No, I really am smelling them. I think my mom is cooking. I'd love some sausages. Apparently, his identity chips are stored in the head. Hey, you can't just leave me here. Pick me up. You've got to find it's me another God body. God. Look, don't be stupid. I can help you out, man. <gasps> We're going to be I carrying his head with us? About hell. <laughs> and you thought that l chainsaw lollipop was something original. <laughs> <laughs> Recruit. Wait, do, do I have to? Yeah. The walkthrough doesn't say anything about it. I. Yes? Don't just stand there. What if you pick me up and carry me? Oh, we gotta find me a body, man. No! Who am I gonna get rid of, though? What? I, I, I'm afraid to do this because before I could. I, I actually soft locked myself in this game. So. I'm afraid to do shit. Well, well our safe was a. Uh, 12? We should remember it in case of. <sighs> that makes no sense, though. Yeah, the walkthrough doesn't say anything about it, which is weird. Who to get rid of? Splits Magnolia? He was the last one we picked up, though. Sophia Bennett. I'm... I'm gonna regret this. Mr. Beautiful's clue stick. Q, Q stick. Oh, would you like a Q stick? Look at him. Look at my boy. Why do I need his head? Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. He's moving though, which is weird. And hi, Queen. Gosh, it's slow. I'll only ask this once. Where is pretty boy keeping Delmonico and Carlos? Look what we did to your boss. We are not in good moods. He's not my boss. And we don't work for beautiful. Although no one wants to believe that. 
And we've had enough of people pointing guns at us. Who cares if Beautiful's destroyed? Thanks, you did us a favor. Whenever I get my head mounted on a body again, <laughs> I will kick your ass all over Washington. I wonder if he commented right now if uh, he wasn't at my party because I uh, he's at my party right now and I'm just carrying him. That's pretty cool. This music, I love it. Shut up. <laughs> What's on the tape? It's the best. You are in no position to be asking questions. This dat popped out of your boss's chest when I split it open with my laser. Seems important to him. He threatens my life over it every 15 minutes. We played it, but I can't understand a word of it. Frankly, I don't care either. I want Delmonico and Carlos back. I don't even know You were these trying names. to beat their location out of this rhyming little freak when you two came in. But all we got out of him was a bunch of useless numbers. Your fists are hard, your brain is stupid. This is my favorite guy. Your meaning is there for you to grasp. Yet you pursue me hard like a murderous cupid. That what you seek. Oh my god. I now gasp. 11, 23, 14, 26, 25, 9, 10, 6, 25, 13, 13, 10, 17, 17, 23, 20, 6, 9, 20, 14, 17. All the R's are 23. Keep your spirit strong if your men you would set free. With the numbers you can't go wrong. For from the numbers letters come. And with the letters freedom song. See what I'm talking about? What the hell is that? I have no idea. Gideon, it's obviously a code. A real? I strike you to a deal. You find Portillo, and I let you have this dad. Your boss obviously is <laughs> back with That was. <laughs> Damn it, he's not our boss. I run their lives, the ungrateful shits. <laughs> they rule the city. They grow drowsy on my food and whiskey, and any sexual perversion they can dream up. Fresh fruit in the winter time. Nothing's too good for my people. Whether you work for them or not, the tapes was something, huh? You find the boys and it's yours. And take that obnoxious head with you. Um. Satan's blood. The day is tragic. The marks are wise. The rubes are fend. Beauty's not just dead. Or nasty. What? You got the word wrong. I. Uh, well, you, he, he doesn't even repeat the words, the numbers you and know stuff. The deal, and I'm getting tired. Okay, I'm reading it all the walkthrough because this is ridiculous. Series of numbers on the code are 23. You can convert the numbers to the phrases. H how? I don't know. The phrases are fruit, death, hell, road, and oil. Ignoring the spelling mistake. Ah, because it's free youth, not fruit, it's free youth death. Oh, um, okay, that's the mistake. Click on jukebox and find three so songs or artists with matching names. Orange Martyrdom, Damnation Avenue, and Vicious Fluid. Fruit and Fluid? Yes, that's very like that. Enter their corresponding code E3 E8 D9. <laughs> well, that's the codes E3 Brimstone over Na uh, Easy Orange Martyrdom. So, Orange Martyrdom, martyrdom is what is that? 
for, I wonder. It's not fruit, fruit death. Ah, vicious fluid is an oil. Never mind. How do you, that is just ridiculous. Anyway, we know the code already, so I'll just enter it. E three, E eight. Thank God the. Oh wait, E three. Accept. E eight. And D nine. I was p pissed off that he's not even re like. Mm. Repeating the whole puzzle, but you can play the replay. The problem is I don't even know how to work through it Since you need to ch like choose the character first and This is weird. I wish you could just replay The f like it would go in the order that you already like read through anyway, we're guess we're entering What is this? Look what he's done to my boys. Don't blow your motherboard, Mardo. If this is what I think it is, your men are fine. A little sweaty and down a few million dollars to a minty fresh demon who deals from the bottom. <laughs> but they're unharmed. You owe us a debt. We had a deal. Watch them kiddies. When it comes to the What's double the debt? cross, anyway. Marto second dean to no one. I just want to get the hell out of here. I swear to God, Manuel, if I ever get involved with demons again, you'll be doing me a favor to blow my brains out. It would be my pleasure to do it, Second Dean. Here's your that for all the good it's going to do you. Pleasure doing business with you, Mardo. Now we need to give this to someone with the right audio tech to decipher what's on this dat. And that will be who? Can't even talk to these guys anymore. Um... Oh, we're going to Voice of God Radio. Okay. Mm. There it is. Weird, I don't, I don't remember being here, but we know this place, somehow. This hat fitted him so well. The thing I need is a reporter on an ego trip. I know you don't care what Miss Hand of God USA has to say about machine-free living. Cannon out. Damn it! Nobody wants to interview beauty queens since they eliminated the swimsuit competitions. Mm -hmm. Rachel, Gideon, you're still alive. Obviously. No, this is news, Nikki. Hell isn't real. The whole fearsome, steamy, torture-filled regions, a computer-generated illusion. Uh-huh. Why don't the two of you take some silo pedal and a nice, long, psychedelic nap? We're on the level, Nick. We've been there and back. We've seen part of the system lock up, but most of all, we have a deep throat, a hand programmer with a heavy conscience. That's most rogue, important and indeed. And working for the front now. He'll talk to you. He'll explain how the whole thing works, and you can tell the world. It's all a big lie, Nick. You're certain of this? He worked in the Pentagon, backing up Hell Files. Talk to him, Nick. This is the story of a lifetime. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that simple. It's not... I just can't hop the net. Imagine this that. song to my playlist. <laughs> oh, by the way! Queen, I think it was you who asked me for a playlist. I actually had to look up online how to do it, and someone actually made some uh, some code to um, to turn the playlist on the VK.com uh, website. 
into txt file and I did it. I should post it. I did it last night. What's corrupting your files? You're a reporter. Just do it. Hey, this isn't exactly the free freaking That's press a very out long list. The decency in text council file. censors the crap out of us. I patch your deep throat into the net, and I'll be sweating in Tartarus with some demon using my tongue for a teletype. If all this is true, you've got the story of the century, but I can't touch it until it's all public. Too much news. Too much news. Even with these machines, it's too much for one person. What's the game about? It's about conspiracy. It's all a big conspiracy of big corporations trying to control people through fear and stuff. Don't forget to post it. Yeah, I should not forget. I will eventually, even if I will forget tonight. Look, this head, like, it's, it's like Bill for him. Um, did we give him the neck? Na that, not neck. Give him that. Then get over to Wall Street. I hope your money's in cash, Sandra. The Dow Jones is hellbound. Hey, Rachel, Giddy, still breathing? People on scrub lists tend not to play the market. We are in the market for audio expertise, however. I'll do anything I can get away with. The gangster demon that called himself beautiful is dead. Just like hell, he's turned out to be bogus. A very advanced android. You want me to cover this? I'm not sure where I'd start. No, we don't want media coverage. Well, we're not we supposed to tell you how to do your job. That we got from the hard guys who blasted beautiful. I'll see what I can do. Hmm, look at this. A 100th level scramble laid over whatever's on this tape. Definitely hand routines, so I can do a routine playback. God is dead. Well, that was pleasant. Coming from beautiful, I'm surprised it wasn't obscene. Too much news. Too much news. That didn't sound Even like with a... these machines, it's too much for one person. Beautiful. Also, he's with us. It's very beautiful, too. I'm glad I kept this guy. I, yeah. Did we ever use his skill, though? Why did we get him? Anyway. Dante's apartment next. Where was it? Damn it! Where is Ah? Oh, there it is. We were here today, and I already don't remember. Nothing changes. Uh, talk? You look excited, Dante. That must mean Deep Throat's contacted us again. What was that address once more? Yeah, garage. That was it. Ah, uh, wait. That was an interesting conversation. I I'm I I could be wrong, I think it's ninety-five. Okay, we're going to garage by the way. And we're gonna talk to Deep Throat. Now then, let's continue where we left off last time. No, first, how about you telling us who you are? I'm... I'm Deep Throat. That's all it is safe to reveal. They could be listening. If they capture you, they could torture my name from you. What I can tell you is that I work in the Pentagon for the Hand as part of the Hell Maintenance Team. I make backup files of Hell Pits. They don't think I know what's happening in hell, but I know things. All right, for now at least, but I don't go for this mystery man stuff. 
You need to learn about the Hell System if you have any hope of beating the hand. You need programming expertise to devise a crash program. You must start thinking of Hell as a software product, not as a real place. And Are any we already? program, especially one this complex, has vulnerabilities that can be exploited. Are you saying we could just introduce a memory overlay bug or something and trash the whole system? That's no, no, of course not. It'll take something extremely special, a singularly ingenious crash bug. I doubt there's a virus extant that could cripple large... A virus? And damned few programmers alive with the know-how or the hardware to program a crash bug. That's why the hand cracks down so hard on technology. They must always remain several generations ahead of everyone else, so that the hell system remains safe. So what are you saying? That there's no hope? I'm saying oh, that the one advantage we some may bitch have is, biting is me. that I know the system. <laughs> if the Freedom Front has computers and programmers of adequate merit, we might prevail. You know how to make the crash bug then? I fear that I'm not anywhere near that accomplished a programmer. I make backup files all day. I hardly understand the theory behind the code. In practice, I'd be terribly lost. You must find better programmers than me, and then I can help them devise something. <laughs> you got debated, Mapple. <laughs> hey! If that's the case, it's time for you to end this cloak and dagger routine and join us. Join us. Not at the moment. That would be impossible. The Hell staff works and lives in the Pentagon. My movements are constantly monitored. That's why I can't remain long to speak with you. What are you getting out of all this? Actually, the plan now is why to destroy that the, the, the Hell with porn and stuff. <laughs> yes. I, I was um, a believer. God forgive me, I once believed that Solux's measures were severe, but fair and necessary. Working here, seeing what they have done in the name of God, I came to recognize the true enemy, the true evil. The and dude in the video we watched definitely Celine didn't finish this Sox. game. I must leave now. <laughs> Stay in touch with Dante. You will hear from me again. Because, like, the video shuts down very shortly uh, after. Uh, hey, we're playing way beyond the video I finished. We're starting to feel toyed with, Deep Throat. You reveal Hell's secrets. You hint that it can be destroyed, but then doubt that anyone has the skill or computing power to do it. You tell us that you can help us, but that you can't leave the Pentagon. Where's all this leading? They even let you... Well, I used the little trick. Things are changing. Changing very quickly, becoming... Very dangerous. The hand knows that there is a leak in the programming team. I've done my best to obscure myself, but I begin to fear for my life. Then you've got to get out of there now. Soon. Soon. As soon as I think it possible. In the meantime, you should attempt to access Massimo Eddy. His location is a highly guarded secret. Any high-ranking hand official would have the Wait a second. Computer, <laughs> that name sounds familiar. And only the Bureau of Records knows the secret to the encryption. The Bureau offices are in the Federal Triangle. But if Hell's virtual, what does that make Massimo Eddy? He just a hand con? He can't have any special knowledge of Hell if Hell doesn't really exist. It makes him even more valuable to you. Massimo was a quality assurance technician testing the boundaries of the beta version of the Hell Code. Sections of the system were still buggy, and Massimo suffered severe brain damage that had bizarre effects. It left him mad, prone to intense visions, and possessed by demons whose voices speak through him. He's been exposed to the vast contours of the system. He does have knowledge of Hell, Hell as it really exists. I just hope he's lucid enough to assist us. If he really does have secret knowledge, 
Why does the hand keep him alive? Eddie is one more fragment of the lie, one more thing for people to believe in and fear. That's all for now. I'll contact you again very soon. I must make a move for my own safety. Saving his in-laws. Okay. Uh, talk to... Oh, okay. Federal Triangle Bureau of Records. The next one. I was hoping to finish at least one more page tonight, but I'm getting hungry. So, actually, we've done two pages. Not too bad. At best, I thought we would finish this game, but nah. Too much conversations. Records, yes. I don't. We've never been here, I think. Look at this animation. Crazy. May I help you? We're with Reality Containment. Official business involving Massimo Eddie. You'll have to speak with Mr. Calcutta first. He's Wait. responsible for information. I recognize her voice. I think. What's so funny? I think she sounds familiar to that menu voice that describes like gives you descriptions of stuff. Okay, talk to him. Need a moment of your time, sir. We're with Reality Con- Congratulations. I'm certain that your family is quite proud of you. Well, probably not yours, because what are you We're doing? We're investigating something big. A full-blown paranormal catastrophe. We need to speak with Massimo Eddy. We have clearance. Oh, goody. And may I see this clearance? Ark sent it ahead of us. I forgot it at home. you received it. I've received no notification. I assure you that I'm not in the habit of misplacing important items such as security clearances. Only people with transgressions clearance can be informed of Massimo Eddie's location. Until you give me such clearance, you may not see him. Just see kill him. Stinson if you need to complete the application Dig in his forms. brain. Get information. Oh my god, Rachel. Calcutta told us to see you about transgressions clearance to see Calcutta. Massimo Eddie. Da, 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 da. Uh, have you heard that song? It's, I love it. That's actually his name. I can't believe this. Identity templates and clearances can only be obtained from transgressions headquarters. All I can tell you is that to obtain the identity templates, you must know the shape that all transgressions move toward and nope. must come to you gotta hear sooner it. or later. That's all I can tell you. Actually, actually, I don't want to, I don't want my stream to get muted though. But, <laughs> sec. I'm gonna find it. There. Hello? I found it. Doctor, what's the name? Doctor Bombay. And it stopped. <laughs> I'm sorry, my internet can't handle this. Anyway, go listen to it. It's awesome. <laughs> A real music. <laughs>
God, this is so old. Brings good memories, so. Go with that. Okay. Sorry. I'm old, okay? Back to the game. <laughs> Wait, was it too loud? I'm sorry. Or are you saying it's ugly? Anyway. She was supposed to give us a, he a clue about another password. Did you pay attention? Because I didn't. Identity templates and clearances can only be obtained from Transgressions Headquarters. All I can tell mm -hmm. you is that to obtain the identity templates, you must know the shape that all transgressions move toward and must come to sooner or later. That's I have no idea what it means, but let's go to the Transgressions office. I think. Yeah. Entrance. It's in the same area. Federal Triangle somewhere. <laughs> Glad you liked it. It's good me like good memories Damn. for me. Use your lockpick implant on the glass doors. My lockpick implant? Or someone else's? Oh, thank god I do have it. Jesus. That would be... could be a very short... well, not very short playthrough, but we could be dead. Uh, door? Use it on Gideon's asshole. Sorry. Says, pick it up. Huh? Wait, I remember this computer. We already used it before. But was it in a different place? With disabled, please enter access code. All right, God's justice. Ah, wait. How do I? How do I enter it? How do I start entering? Ah. God's justice. Okay. Ready? Yeah, they probably are. This is the last place I'm gonna visit tonight, though. Um, we shall finish the game next time. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, look up government operations. Massimo Eddy. Massimo Eddy. Last night, there was another Massimo Eddy broadcast. Another vision of hell. Massimo is the first man who was damned to hell and lived to tell of his experience. There was Eddy, pain splashed on his face, ranting about his trip to hell, bursting into sudden butts. screams of the Ew. colors, colors. Then, ooh, fire. There's shit flying around. All is a flame. Ooh, he would speak, and the demons that possesses him would taunt him mm. from within. Ooh, from within a terribly frightening exhibit that you reminds lost me. viewers what there is to fear about hell. Periodically, the hand dragged him out to broadcast Weird. his bizarre visions to the nation. He has developed a cult following of people expecting wisdom from the Mad Massimo. I fear those people will be disappointed. I doubt this lost soul has anything to teach. Some, huh? This is not Massimo. Wait, huh? 
Wait a second. Oh, I was supposed to enter a code. Fuck. When? Ah! Gods, again, just. E-R-C. No, 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 no. Massimo Eddie. Last night. Wait, transgressions, access code required to obtain. Please enter. Okay. Code is... I have no idea how, again, triangle. Downloading transgressors credentials templates to external disk. I, do I have the external disk with me? I don't... Did you download it? I guess we did. Use Sophia's finger skill on this. On what? What if I didn't have Sophia with me, stupid game? Can I... Uh, like, if I... Uh, leave the people out of my party, can I hire them again? Is it an option? I never did. Credentials. Yeah, we got... That's not Sophia. We're fucked. <laughs> so, isn't he always with my title? I'm sorry. Forger skill. I don't have shit. Stupid Mr. Beautiful. I do say I really have no idea. I need to Google. If I maybe I can go to where she was originally. She's at the foggy bottom entrance to interface. If not, we're we're actually soft locked now. And I'm I'm giving up on this then. Give it. Ah yeah, that's how we got the code. God's justice. So it is the same room we used before. <sighs> Where did I say she was? Foggy bottom? I think at this... I can only pray that she will be here. She's here! I think it's her. Thank God you can do this. Fuck Mr. Beautiful then, I get- I actually- I don't know. I think Cena Stone is also here. Cena Stone. Yeah, let's get rid of her for now. So, Forger skill. Wait. How do you use? How do <coughs> how do you use one eye ah wait a second didn't I do this before? <coughs> Let's 
Yeah, I did. You now have a transgressions credentials. An official quality forged transgressors path. How do I do this? What do I do with this? Ah, uh, we go back to Calcutta. <clears throat> Okay, this is the last place, I swear. We give him the credentials. It's here, I think. Bureau of Records. Yeah. But that's very nice to know that we can record people again. We probably will have to get Mr. Beautiful eventually. Though he was not mentioned in the walkthrough. At the point where we did. Ah, what shock and disbelief on my part. I thought you two were con artists. What is now he I doing? Really trying to incompetent. warm up his food in microwave? Clearance. Very good for you. Mr. Eddie resides in the Lee Mansion in Arlington. That's right. The home of the first damn man overlooks the National Cemetery. Quite appropriate, don't you think? When you do find Mr. Eddie, be aware there are other security measures in place. You had best be more prepared for them than you were for me. Okay, well, I mean, wait, did we give him the thing? Ah, oh, we did give him the thing. And he told us to go? <laughs> Lee Mansion Guard Room. Okay. I think, um... Uh... Yeah, I'll mark it. Arlington Lee Man Mansion Guard Room is next stop for us, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. 